Hi, this is PD at Birds Arcade at birdsyourcarcade.com, and here we are with another little question and answer section. And I wanted to get this out of the way before the live show today, so let's just go ahead and uh, jump in. So we'll just start in the first one, uh, number 53 here. Okay, I have 1,609 errors, broadcast exception, broadcast message, message player health update, but no listener. Uh, how do I avoid this? It's not really an error. If you actually clicked on it, it'll bring you into the, I believe it's called the C Sharp Messenger that we were using. Uh, there's, it's actually that script itself that's outputting that message and it's it's not an error, it's just, it's outputting it as a, a debug.log error. Uh, there's an actual parameter, if you actually go back to the, the website, the wiki that we got it from, uh, there's a couple parameters you can use actually at the end and one of them suppresses this message. And I do show it in one of the videos, I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, but I generally do not suppress the message because I like to see when I don't have a listener. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. If you're getting that, just keep in mind that uh, you're broadcasting a message and you don't have a listener yet. And if you should have a listener, uh, go ahead, take a look at that listener, make sure the strings match up. Uh, but yeah, it's not really an error. Uh, the next one's on GUI style and skin. Uh, I've always thought that I, uh, that it'd be hard to learn C-sharp or any C language. Uh, okay, so for, th for this one here, I just wanted to say that learning programming isn't hard, and C-sharp is actually very easy. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you don't have to worry about with uh, in comparison to stuff like C or C++. Like all the memory stuff, while it's still good to learn about it, you don't really have to worry about it in C-sharp. And with Unity... Admittedly, I haven't really played around a whole lot with Boost. I'm really not sure exactly what the capabilities are with it. But between JavaScript and C Sharp, if you're just starting out, uh, C Sharp might be a little more intimidating at first, simply because it has that C in it. And it's a little more verbose, like you've got that class up top. And uh, there's a couple little tiny things at the start. You know, you have those using statements. Uh, it might be a little bit more confusing maybe when you first start. But these things, a lot of them you really don't have to touch ever. Or, well, I shouldn't say that because you are going to be adding more using statements later on. Uh, but anyway, C Sharp is not really that much harder to learn than JavaScript. Actually, I'd say it's the exact same, probably easier because you have to specifically do everything yourself. Where in JavaScript, there's some stuff that's handled behind the scenes. Uh, but yeah, C Sharp is not a hard language to learn. Uh, next question 259, setting up mob attributes. Uh, great, sir. Okay. Uh, blanket, thank you to. Uh, I'm going to do a blanket statement for all the people that are saying thank you or they like the series and that. Uh, you're welcome. Glad you enjoy them. Uh, I intend to keep making them. Uh, even if you don't enjoy them, I still intend to keep making them. At least until the game is done. And then I'll probably even still come back and redo certain systems to uh, clean them up a bit. But anyway, uh, again, everyone, you're welcome. Uh, GUI Texture Health Bar. Okay, um, this one here, I just wanted to point out that if you actually look at the message here, I uh, cannot implicitly implicitly convert type float to int. Now, we went over typecasting fairly early in the series. I probably in around the early teens. And uh, if you take a look here, it's just saying that you can't convert a type float to type int. So if you actually look this up in the Unity documentation, uh, the pixel inset.width is actually a float. And you're from judging by the error this here you have set as a int. Uh, so there's two ways to fix it: either just convert this to a float, or take the, what's here and typecast it as a, an int. And like I said, we have covered these in the early teens. We did typecasting, uh, maybe mid-teens. It, it was it should be in the teens anyway. Uh, next one, uh, another one on the health bar. Okay, this is another one about the. Yeah, about the um, messenger. And I'm not really sure why it crashed your system. I have never had it crash my system. Uh, I'm on uh, OS X, or OS X, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm running on a Mac, and I haven't had Unity crash probably since maybe uh, one of the later betas or something like that. It might be a little bit different on Windows. I believe it's not as stable on Windows. Uh, but as far as the message you're getting, like I said before, it's not an error, and it should not crash your system. Uh, there's probably something else going on. Uh, okay, so I don't, I don't understand how uh, to show this thing in Inspector, and 
what I assume you're talking about is the uh, variables. When you type a variable in your script and you make it public, it'll show up in the inspector. And that's how you make things show up over there, is just make your variables public. All right, so the next one's about which is better for game development, a Mac or uh, a PC. And honestly, they're the exact same machine. Uh, you have the same processors, the same video cards, the same RAM. Uh, really, the only difference is the operating system. Uh, now, what operating system do I prefer? Uh, I prefer OS X simply because it's, it's there's just so many things that are just easier for me. I like the hotkeys, for instance. I just find the hotkeys much more natural to get to. Uh, it's just a bunch of little tiny little things. Now, as far as being able to run uh, software, uh, like for instance, they point out the 3D Max, CryEngine UDK only runs on Windows. That's fine because I can run Windows and Mac at the exact same time. And like, I've done it in the live feed several times where I'll have something like Lord of the Rings playing on one monitor and I'll still be doing stuff in Unity on the other monitor. And I've got Lord of the Rings running full out, like uh, I was ultra high or something like that. That's the highest setting. And I don't have a problem with it. And, you know, really it's just a personal preference. If you prefer Windows, use it. Uh, if you prefer Mac, use that. It, neither one's an upgrade. They're the exact same thing, really. It's, basically, it's just a different wrapper. And next one. Uh, can you get the scripts for free? Sure, just start typing. Uh, I'd start at number one, and uh, we'll just keep going. Uh, the next one, uh, why do we get an error here? Private int underscore mod value. Uh, because you forgot the space in between int and mod value. Uh, so in other words, a typo. Uh, check your, when you get an error, just make sure you check for typos because usually that's what it is. But anyway, that's it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll hurry up and encode it and get it uploaded, hopefully before the live show. Uh, I'll see everyone later. Bye-bye.